Um, and we're going to start again today uh, by celebrating our wonderful NHS. Uh, and this is the story of artist Nathan Weiber. Now, he had this brilliant idea to help his community say thank you to all the NHS staff. Um, and as I said, he's an artist. And we, he's been on this morning a few times and he yes. normally paints fun. with yeah, fun things. Yep. And he uses spaghetti and Marmite and does you know, celebrities' faces Should on toast. But uh, this time it's very different. So let's go and talk to Nathan. Morning, Nathan. Are you there? Yes, good morning, Bo. Good morning. So you've got a bit of your artwork behind you. That's your kind of classic celebrity portraits, Jerry Halliwell yes. there. And um, tell people what you normally paint with and how you do it. So it's normally pop culture imagery using anything I can get my hands on, from lipstick uh, to um, coffee, food, absolutely anything. Yeah, and uh, you've been in here and done Phil and Holly and things, so we, we're familiar yeah. with your work. Uh, but this time it's very different. Let's just show people uh, the image that you have created. We've got a copy of it here. This is a digital copy. So there yes. we have... Oh, I wanted to... Can you show me the, the wide shot first, please? Yeah. So there you have an NHS worker in a mask. That's an image that so many of us are used to seeing now. Well, who um, is your model? Is that, a real, is that a real person, Nathan? Uh, it was, yes, it was. <laughs> Very good. And then just show people, um, I mean, you've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, smaller images making up the big overall image. So what's on the smaller images? So basically, I did a Facebook call out for people to send in photographs of either themselves or their friends that work for the NHS. And I had over 200 replies. It was phenomenal. So I'd used all their photographs in there. Some of them repeated over and over again to make the actual image. And, and I know, like so many of us, um, you've been out on Thursday nights clapping for the NHS, and this is really where this idea came to you, wasn't it? It was. Um, the first night, actually, the first clap on the Thursday, I, I got quite emotional, and most of my friends work for the NHS, my housemate, you know, I, I have to watch him go to work half six every night, worried about catching corona, and it turns out, you know, he had a test uh, a few days ago, and he actually has contracted COVID-19, so it's wow. gone from being in China to being in my house. So that means you're isolating as well, then? Yes, I am completely, yeah. 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 Um, what, when you started receiving the photographs from people, were you getting stories along with them? Yes, um, it, it was quite emotional, actually, to read it all. And it, it's, the actual image is made front page of the newspapers here in Wales. And um, they actually interviewed some of the people involved with it, so they got to tell their stories about how, how they are dealing with it as well. Now, Nathan, where is this portrait going? I mean, it's very nice of you to display this, and we've got this yeah. preview of it today, but where eventually do you see it hanging? So I'm actually a patron for the Cardiff and Vale Health Charity here in South Wales, and they've actually commissioned it to be printed huge, four metres high, um, around all the Cardiff and Vale University health board sites around South Wales. So I'm overwhelmed with that. And if it just makes one NHS member feel proud of themselves, that's my mission accomplished. It is, how long did it take you to do? I mean, it's, you know, there are so many uh, pictures there and faces and you had to get all the colours and things in the, in the right place. How, did, how long did it take? Yeah, so initially it was just editing the tones from light to dark, really, and then placing them over and over again on, face, on um, Photoshop. So it took me about three and a half to four hours in total yeah. to do. I mean, it's very fine. different way of working for you, isn't it? It is completely. I don't usually work digital, as you can see. I usually work um, using my hands more, you know, painting and whatnot. So um, it was very different for me, and I'm just overwhelmed with the response for that. It is fantastic. Uh, um, you're inspirational uh, to a lot of people in a lot of ways, not just, obviously, the applause that, that you want to garner for uh, anyone on the NHS front line, but um, what about people getting into art itself? I mean, goodness me, if you're going to do it, it's, it's not a bad time, is it, to get involved when people have got so much time on their hands? That's it, definitely. I mean, we're all obviously talking about our physical health quite a lot, but our mental health and keeping ourselves busy at home is a huge thing which I try to champion. And my work is perfect for that because you can just open the kitchen cupboard and see a <laughs> half-empty bottle of ketchup and turn it into a piece of art, you know? You can go into the back garden and get a handful of mud mix it with a bit of water, make a, make a painting using that. So I usually go into schools quite a lot and try to show people to think outside the box with their creativity. Mm -hmm. And now is a perfect time for people mm -hmm. to do that. Well, thank you very much indeed, Nathan. Really it's appreciate it. Nathan. Really, it's yeah. amazing. Thank um, you. That's uh, Nathan Wyburn there. Uh, he's created a giant uh, thank you collage, I think you would uh, call it there, uh, for NHS workers. Uh, superb. It's mesmerising, right. actually, when you stand up, you know, you start looking at all the little pictures I was yeah. doing this morning, you know, I was there for ages. Every single one of those faces tells a story, doesn't it, of, of people on the front line.
It does, and applause to each and every one of them.